back, everybody, to another edition of Bonkers and Bucks. It's uh third week of either or out in Southampton County. Got my eight point last week. If you haven't seen that video, check out the week prior. I'm out here with two of my friends. I'm sitting on the edge of about 20 acres. We've got another guy up top, and we got another guy centrally located. So we're kind of in a triangle uh, sitting on the edge. spot where they tend to hit the corner of um, over on the fields that's another hunt hunt club's property we're stuck in the woods um, still a nice place to go a lot of other activity out here a lot of cars a lot of people dogs all over the place not sure where they're going hopefully they're gonna let them in somewhere around here Absolutely beautiful day again. A little bit warmer than I like. And of course, I did find the one sinkhole out here, so my right leg is completely soaked. Uh, but nice thing is it's warm, so it's not that bad. I've got good vision all over the place. I like, you know, even if I don't. get one here a lot of my buddies probably should and then again overlooking this field you can see all kinds of crazy stuff which for me is just as much fun as the actual pulling the trigger oh that's the dogs let's get on it just a little safety tip from someone that's done everything wrong over the years uh, I like to load my gun when I'm ready to hunt you know, at times I'll load it at the truck, load it on the way to the woods, load it before I get up on my tree stand, just thinking something's going to come through the woods that I have to shoot. It's never happened. And there's too many problems that can occur, climbing a tree, doing whatever with a loaded gun. So I, I nowadays, as I get older, I wait till I'm ready to hunt before I actually chamber around. I'm in my uh, summit tree stand. I'm using a Browning 12-gauge pump. For me, best uh, gun on the market. Uh, for the money. Uh, it's a bottom eject, the, uh, and you can load it on the bottom. Safety on top, and there's three chokes for bird, deer, duck, pig hunting. I've hunted everything in the world with this and done just fine. I uh, got it when I was 13 as a Christmas present and have been hunting with it for over 30 years. If, you, if you're looking for a good shotgun, um, you can't go wrong with it. And this is a youth shotgun. Again, I uh, got it when I was 13. What I like about it is when I get up in this, this tree stand, the, the larger guns are harder to maneuver. Uh, this is the right size, weight, the stock is smaller. So when I'm moving around in my tree with this tree stand, uh, I, I can get, I got better mo mobility. So again, Brown is a good gun. It's only gonna run you between six and $700. It's more than you know some of the other shotguns out there, but if you're going to use it for 30 years uh, and give it as a gift, something that can be handed down from uh, generation to generation, spend a little extra, get something that's that's really good um, that you can be proud of. All kinds of uh, hunting dogs. For the purposes of deer out here in Southampton County, the two that I've seen the most are beagles and the American foxhound. I uh, once saw a deer come out of the woods and head to the middle of the field and come right underneath my stand. About 20 minutes later, a dog comes running out, starts crisscrossing the field, and then finds the uh, scent of the deer. Deer have uh, scent glands on the bottom of their feet. Finds that scent gland, comes right up underneath my stand where the deer had come and uh, pushed him right out of the briar patch. Unfortunately, it was a uh, buck only and it was a doe. But this was several hundred yards that this this dog came out, found the scent, and chased him right down and pushed him right back out. Um, if you've never seen it, it's it's pretty impressive. The tree line is what separates the property I'm hunting and the other hunt club's property. And you can see that this is young brush, pine trees, grasses. This was clear cut or timbered a few years back, and sometimes this is where the, the deer are hanging out. And apparently, 
uh, with all this warmer weather, the mosquitoes are, are back out in force, so I've got to put my gloves on. Uh, but I've never really hunted this spot with the clear cut. There's always been trees there. I've always popped deer out of here. So I'm hoping that um, my past luck is going to pay off today as well. All right. He's just released a couple dogs right on the edge of the property. I just got a little lucky. He put in the dogs up by the road, which means they're going to be working down to my position where I'm sitting right now. Let's see what happens. Sometimes a deer will move right away. Sometimes a deer won't move unless the dog's right on them. But I've got to be ready because uh, if, if there's any deer in here, they're going to be busting ass. <laughs> and I can't shoot them when they're in the field. I have to shoot them as they come through the tree line. Trying to figure out what the guy running the dogs was saying. He, multiple different, different uh, signals. I'm sure one thing gets the dogs to do another, <laughs> but I couldn't figure out what the hell he was saying. Pretty tough knowing what's coming through here. What I'm looking for is movement of the tops of the grasses. Both the deer and the dogs are shorter than the pine trees, the grasses, the brush, um, and I've got to know where they're going to come out uh, so I can kind of lead the target. Very difficult to, to see anything in that thick stuff. Was a turkey. As we get closer to the end of hunting season, uh, the hunt clubs start getting very, very active, and the, the dogs you're hearing now are from a different farm down the way, which means we've got multiple uh, angles that deer can be coming from. So it's super exciting right now. I don't know about you guys, but uh, my heart rate goes up, and I'm hearing multiple packs of dogs. in their own something. Dogs don't always bark. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But usually when they kick something up, they just start going nuts. So whenever you hear the whole pack barking, you know they're usually on something and you're just, you know, your head's on a swivel looking for whatever it is.
dogs have been in here this whole time and the fact that they've quieted down and you don't hear a thing is a bad sign that there's anything in here. Uh, but it's not over, let's see. Sounds like he's saying, find him, find him. I think he's saying, find him in here. At this point, they've worked this area pretty good. The fact that they're not barking is a little bit of concerning. Uh, if they're not chasing something, they're, they're a little quiet. Right, Two more beagles. Two cute little things. Looks like this little guy is just trying to catch up to his buddies. But it's about that time these guys worked this field for about another two hours, saw so, uh, one deer that popped out, but it was on their land and really too far to take a shot anyways. Uh, but I really appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Lunkers and bucks. Gonna head out and get some grub. Good luck out there and stay safe.